Hey there, my name is Melanie DiPoli and I am the brand catalyst at Omicle. I would like to invite you to come to see me in Reno on September 18th. A uh, little bit about my company. My company's name is Omicle and we build brands worthy of going viral. I've had my business for about 15 plus years and I work with businesses a lot like yours. So they're business owners or they're marketing directors and they're looking to take their business to the next level. I help them craft their brand in a way that it's easy to communicate and easy for people to understand what it is that they do. Clients that I've worked for in the past have received awards for best places to work, most innovative, We've helped them build loyalty, increase market share, and also profitability. My most favorite outdoor activities include hiking, particularly on Mount Rainier. I have such a soft spot for Mount Rainier. And uh, gardening. And as my husband and I are building our family, uh, one of the priorities that we have is as the kids get a little older, that we're gonna do some family bike rides together. So I will be coming to IBD 2018 because I know I'm going to learn from you. And my intention is that you're going to walk away learning four key things from me. First one is connection. Social media can often feel impersonal and <clears throat> many companies treat it that way. So because of this impersonal connection that they tend to feel, it tends to hinder results and also create a hesitation around embracing it and leveraging it. It doesn't have to be that way. It is possible to build sustainable relationships in a fraction of a time that it takes to build them in person. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the, <coughs> excuse me. Let's also talk about comprehension. So the retail space, as you know, is changing every day. And being prepared for those changes and embracing them will help you become the thriving, profitable business that you deserve to be, both in today's market and in tomorrow's. We're gonna also talk about how to understand the differences between what you need to know about the search engines and the social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and how to emotionally connect with people to drive your results and actually get results from your engagement online. And then we have community. And as you know, Innerbike is a very tight community. Your clients are also a part of a very tight community. As a business, it should be your priority to build an online community that is just as tight. We'll talk about building your tribe, as I call it, to get your message out there and also help you be intentional about who you're targeting because not everyone needs to hear your message. There's only a segment of all of the people that are online, which is millions and in some cases billions of people, that need to hear your message. So we wanna be intentional about who we target and what we say to that market. And then finally, we want to celebrate. Who doesn't like to celebrate? We all love to celebrate. So we're gonna talk about celebrating the small things in life. This doesn't just include your successes, but your client's successes as well, and also those you collaborate with. So other businesses that are in your industry who maybe you pass referrals to or you receive referrals from, you see your next best client and your current clients, they're looking to emotionally connect with your brand, whether they know this consciously or not. And the best way for them to do that is to see your brand as a person. So they're going to attach personality traits and behavioral traits to your brand. And the more we can communicate that in a way that you know, makes it search engine friendly is how you're gonna drive the results. Because your next best client and your current clients, they want to know that 
their voice and their opinion matter to you. I'm gonna show you how to make that message come across crystal clear. It, it'll help them emotionally connect with you. So like I said, I would love to meet you in Reno on September 18th. Feel free to reach out to me between now and then, and also come on up to me when you see me in Reno and introduce yourself. I am looking forward to meeting you. Alrighty, have a great day, and I hope to see you in Reno.